So uh, MintBase, uh, just to go back in time and why I, you should listen to me, um, I used to work for Nike. I pushed them to completely overhaul Nike ID, which is a million dollar a day application to customize a shoe. I really like the whole idea of being able to customize something in an easy visual process. Uh, and I also worked for a company called Bumps, which was essentially if you swipe your debit or credit card at Starbucks, we issue you fractional shares of publicly traded stock as a reward. Uh, so go to Starbucks, we'll give you 0.0021 shares of Starbucks stock uh, at the end of the day. So what I'm about to show you is kind of a combination of both these two apps in my background. Um, so basically, I won the hackathon at uh, DevCon 4 last year. And so I've been uh, hauled up in Berlin uh, the last year, basically building out this application now to Full Node. Full Node is probably one of the centers of the world uh, when it comes down to um, the blockchain community. Anyone who's like done an ICO of over a whole, whole bunch of numbers, I guess it's probably like over 100 million, uh, like that, Gnosis, um, they run the co working space. So a lot of like the Ethereum core dev meetups actually happen at this spot. So it's neat to see Maker coming and doing their uh, conversations and seeing uh, Finance Labs and Tachyon, they've all done their um, their accelerated programs out of full node. It's just kind of a spot to be where if you have a problem with some sort of technology, when in doubt the blockchain developer who built it is probably you know, 15 shares away from you. Um, so I'll focus on non-fungible tokens. Um, anybody know what that is? Anyone not know what it is? I guess that's the rest. Uh, so a non-fungible token, essentially, um, CryptoKitty. Uh, imagine buying a home, that's a fungible token. Uh, being able, I can trade you uh, $1 and you can give me four quarters and there's a defined set where we can interchange that amount. Non-fungible basically says that can't happen. This is one thing, you're an owner of the thing. So if you buy a house, it's not really the money that you buy the house with, it's more of like, uh, the, the piece of paper that says you are the owner of that house. Um, so what you get with this is digital ownership, scarcity, and interoperability. These are big words, but for the most part, this doesn't really exist on the internet today. Um, when you say ownership, uh, let's say a Netflix subscription, you don't really have ownership of that subscription. You're basically leasing time on their platform. Um, true ownership would be basically if I have this non-fungible token, then I'm the owner of my subscription. And if I want to give it up in an exchange, I can send it to an exchange and sell it elsewhere and not have to go back to Netflix to say, oh, um, can I please have my subscription back? Scarcity doesn't exist on the web. Everything can be copied or duplicated. Um, scarcity is the mother, mother of all innovation uh, engines. It's why gold is, is important. Um, and interoperability, I want my asset to not only work on my platform, but I want it to work on exchanges, I want it to work on someone else's ex exchange, and they don't need my permission to actually use my asset. Um, so MintBase is a minter and a marketplace. And instead of just showing a slide, I can actually show you uh, what the thing looks like. So hopefully this looks good. So it's actually working today. Uh, we're on the Rinkv testnet. Has anyone actually interacted with the DAP before, decentralized application? So it's pretty, you basically, so anytime I interact with this, this is um, MetaMask, uh, this is my actual wallet. Imagine you're putting money all over the place. My money is literally, I've got some on my phone, I've got some in my browser, I've got a different browser, I have some money in there. That's the future, is being able to basically combine the internet with money together and interact with these applications together. And that's something no bank can do. So every time I interact with this, this is my money. I don't actually have that much money. Um, the Rinkv test network is basically a global uh, copy of the Ethereum virtual machine. So it's all fake ETH. Um, but what's fascinating about that is we can basically deploy applications and basically I can deploy a casino and everyone can play with fake money. It's quite fun. Uh, so if we come in here, uh, oops, it's it's local host. So actually, this seems like it's quite large. So let me see if I can nail this down for a second. Um, displays. Let's go. Let's in red now. Let's see if that gets a little bit better. Is that better? Cool. Okay, so really quickly, uh, this is the non-fungible token creator. So what you get with non-fungible tokens is you can pay metadata to it. So it could be an image, it could be a video, it could be all sorts of things. 
Uh, but at the end of it, I kind of look at this metadata like an image and general mission, and that kind of data is just kind of an orientation to understand what the value of that token actually is. Um, there's not a lot of buttons here. You just have this little mint token, you can add some information. What does this token do? What's an asset that's backed by? Uh, how many do I want? Upload an image. Um, if we go in here, we can just mint more. So you crank that up, all the metadata is already filled up. Um, but then I would basically come in here. Um, MetaMask would say, okay, great. And then once I've confirmed that, it then comes up here. And you can see I've got a pending transaction. Um, so what that's doing is basically it's throwing, throwing the piece onto the queue of the blockchain and depending on how much gas I put into that, it just uh, goes through the process. So we just confirmed, um, we've now minted more, and if I were to show you that number, it would have been less than that much more. Um, to transfer these tokens, you can send uh, through a bunch of different uh, hashes. Um, but the really fascinating thing that we're launching uh, is actually you get this little marketplace uh, but with a little bit of embed code, so if I come in here and we take this little chunk of code, you can actually stick these non-fungible tokens into your own application. So, and does anybody know what Squarespace is? Uh, does anybody know what WordPress is? So, WordPress, you create your own website. So, whoops, doozies. Oh, that doesn't actually connect. Uh, so, we're launching this thing, so NFT New York City is one of the largest blockchain, uh, largest non-fungible token uh, conferences. Um, but in a few days, you'll be able to actually buy our tickets on their platform. So if you come in here, you click register now, uh, you get two options, buy with U uh, USD, buy with ETH. When we click here, we haven't left the site. We literally just did the embed code, and now we have the non-fungible tokens on this platform. If I wanted to come in here and see the price of this sucker, you just come in, you press buy now, and all of the interactions between the blockchain and all that logic is basically embedded into your application. Um, and it's uh, hypermobile friendly. So if I go in here, and reconnect this thing. And I'm almost done. So what's fascinating, why do NFTs over, over tickets, right? That's a big question. Uh, what's fascinating is now we have all of these people, uh, they went to the Meta Cartel demo day, um, and now all of them have uh, this asset, and this asset can live on, it can do all sorts of stuff. We can create a partnership that says, oh great, all these people now have one of these Meta Cartel demo day tokens. Um, the mentor made over $6,000, that's why it's buying in a FinTech meeting, because there's actually money being uh, traded through this platform, um, but now we can basically make partnerships with gaming platforms and if you're the owner of that token, maybe your character runs a little faster or maybe Nike comes on board and says, hey, you can redeem that token, we'll send you a shoe at checkout. So this is what I'm fascinated about more in this non fungible token space. Uh, and we can see all the transactions. Um, again, you don't have to get my permission to actually run this thing. So uh, one way on mobile is if we go on Telegram, we send a market out. Uh, we're not connected to a blockchain, but what we're able to do is see all of these tickets that go to supply. If the user wants to find the exact ticket that they want, um, then we give the user the option to integrate with Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet. So if they click, uh, if this one goes to Coinbase Wallet, they click open. If someone doesn't touch after this, it deep links into a DAP browser, and then the DAP browser then will, you can now purchase the actual ticket within the DAP browser. So, that's a lot of logic, but I just want to throw some stuff out there and that's that. <laughs>